going to be closer together. We obviously could have filmed him getting off the plane. Never happen to you in the rest of your life. No, get on my hand and direct us. So, if you will please stand in place, and if you can make me the United States, senior leadership in the chamber. When tragedy struck on September the 11th, within hours, NATO invoked the collective defense clause of its treaty. And America's allies, all of them made it clear that this commitment applies on both sides of the Atlantic, to the territory of the United States, as well as to the territory of Europe. In this alliance, words mean what they say. So NATO nations backed up these words with concrete actions. <clears throat> I don't see the NATO-Russia relationship as being one side competing with the other uh, for interest. There is a mutual self-interest in uh, the NATO countries and Russia tackling the common enemies, the common threats, the common challenges that are facing us in the future. So I see both sides having very substantial gains to make from this, but only if they've got the political will to overcome the divisions of the past and use the opportunities of the future. One of the things that NATO and Russia will have to do together is uh, get a common threat assessment, try and work out where these enemies and new threats are coming from and how we're going to deal with them before the threats deal with us. So if there are countries or groups getting weapons of mass destruction, nuclear weapons, chemical, biological weapons, radiological weapons, then they pose a threat to Moscow just as much as they pose a threat to uh, Paris and New York. Well, day by day, we collect more and more information, and day by day, the pressures grow on the indicted people like Karadzic and Milanic. And NATO only has to be lucky once. They've got to be lucky every day. And now that uh, Belgrade is democratic and cooperating with the International Criminal Tribunal, now that Bosnia is increasing its commitment to its obligations under the Dayton Agreement, the net is tightening, and they will be in The Hague eventually.